Hi, I'm Brent with Instructor Gadget. The desktop of your computer is the first screen that loads whenever you turn the computer on. You can personalize the desktop background by either choosing one of your favorite photos, or you can even choose to have several photos cycle through as a slideshow. In order to set the photo as the desktop background, you're first going to need to navigate to wherever that photo is stored. My photo is stored inside the pictures library, so I'm first going to click on the start button and then click on the pictures library. Additionally, this photo is located within the subfolder example photos, so I'm going to double click on this folder in order to open it. Now I can right click on whichever photo I'd like to set as the desktop background. Once I right click on the photo, you'll notice that I'm presented with a menu of additional options. Third from the top is the words set as desktop background. By simply left clicking on set as desktop background, this photo will now be set as the desktop background. In addition to setting one photo as the background, you can also choose to have several photos cycle through as a slideshow. To do so, simply right click anywhere on the desktop where you'll be presented with a menu of additional options. You'll notice that the last option is personalize. I'm simply going to click on personalize one time. In this window I'm presented with several options to personalize my computer. I'm going to change the desktop background so I'll simply click on that option. If I'd like my desktop background to cycle through several photos as a slideshow, I'll first need to navigate to the folder wherever the photos are stored. In order to do so I'll need to click on the word browse. The photos that I'd like to use for my slideshow are located within the pictures library. I'll first click on the word libraries, then I can click on the pictures library. These photos are located in a subfolder within the my pictures folder. When I click on my pictures it'll expand the folder to show me any other folders within it. Once I click on example photos, I can then click on OK. You will now notice that several photos are shown. If I'd like to deselect a photo, I can simply click on the check mark box. That photo will no longer be shown in the slideshow. I can also click on clear all, which will clear every photo from the slideshow, and then I can individually select certain photos that I'd like to include. If I'd like to include all of the photos, I can click on select all. I can also choose the way the photos are displayed on the screen. If I click on the drop down box below picture position, I can choose one of a few options. I can also choose how often the photos are cycled through in the slideshow. If I click on the drop down box below change picture every, you will see that I can have the photos rotate every 10 seconds or just once per day. Checking the shuffle box will cycle through the photos at random rather than in sequential order. In order to apply these changes, I'll simply need to click on Save Changes in the bottom right hand corner of the window. It's always nice to see some familiar memories whenever you turn your computer on. I want to thank you for watching this episode of Instructor Gadget. I encourage you to check out our website, InstructorGadget.com, for more tutorials as well as additional resources.